Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your favorite alchemist, the alchemy goddess. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. You are greatly appreciated. This is your love reading for singles, those in twin flame connections trying to get the fuck out, and those in karmic situations trying to break those ties, okay? Um, this is basically just general information. And what, I, what I'm hoping you get from it is some advice on what to do in your specific situation, whether you're single, whether you're in a twin flame connection, but you're not in, re in a relationship, you know, like y'all are just connected, but not in a relationship or if you're in a karmic situation, relationship or whatever and trying to get out. Right. So I'm just hoping that you guys get some insights some guidance. You know, that's the whole point and purpose of these readings is to guide you to make the best choice and the best decision for yourself. I cannot dictate your future. That is not what tarot does. Tarot just explains the energy going on around you in your in, in your aura, in your energy field. Okay. That's all. So let's see, Spirit. What message do we have for today for my singles? Those in Twin Flame Connections and those in Karmic trying to break free. Because what I got to be free. Free. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the Sun card. So happiness. I love it. Leo energy. Spirit, what messages do you have for my singles today? We have the Seven of Wands in reverse. I like it so far. I'm telling you. We have the Hermit in reverse. Ooh, we have the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Five of Swords in reverse. One more card, Spirit, for my singles. And the Ace of Cups and the Flipped Over Upright. Somebody got some new love coming. I got love on my mind. Okay, so let's see what we got here at the bottom of the Dizek. All right, so definitely world, the world card here. Some cycles are coming to a completion, which sounds like a good thing. Someone was, too, was taking too long to commit. Um, with the Queen of Swords here, it could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be Pisces with the High Priestess energy, Three of Cups in reverse, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Five of Swords. I mean, Five of Wands. I'm sorry. Someone was definitely taking too long to commit, keeping you in a third party situation, but you were like the outskirts of the third party situation. You weren't at the relationship, okay? You weren't the relationship. So this is probably someone who is in a twin flame connection who's not in a relationship with, with someone. Or you could be, you know, the cross watcher <laughs> or, you know, whatever. I'm just feeling like there's some real stability coming in for you, though. There's a lot of conflict, though. A lot of competition here. So that's kind of interesting. Like someone was taking too long to commit to you. Someone was taking like someone just doesn't want to give you any stability. Right. See, the nine of pentacles always feels like is a slow progress towards some type of commitment, whether it's to a job or whether it's to a relationship. It's a slow progress towards a commitment. But with it being in reverse, it's like ain't no progress at all. Like this person has not really any hopes of being in any type of commitment with you. Um, I kind of get this very cold feeling from them, you know. But nonetheless, like I said, they've kept you in a third party situation. And what I don't think you see coming is there is some stability coming here with this person. Doubt it. You know, doubt it. But we have the King of Pentacles at the, on the um, table. So this could also involve a Virgo Capricorn Taurus, specifically Virgo, because I do have the Hermit on the table. Okay, so let's get here. Let's get let's get it here. Let's get what's going on. Let's see. All right, Spirit, please clarify these energies for us. Bottom of the deck, we have the Justice card. Libra could be involved somewhere as well. Or somebody could just be finally making something right. Like something's going to, justice will be served, okay? So let's clarify the Seven of Wands in reverse. Energy was the Seven of Wands. We have the Eight of Coins. And we have the Five of Swords. Somebody is no longer defending. I feel like they no longer want to fight or defend or stand up for something. They're putting down their guard. Like they don't want to fight this anymore. They just want to put their guard down. I feel like they were playing a lot of mind games with the Eight of Pentacles. It's something that tells me that they want to work on something. Spirit, so clarify the Seven of Wands energy for us. We need more cards. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Four of Coins, Four of Pentacles in reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Bottom of the deck energy is the Page of Coins. Lots of Earth energy. Strong, strong, strong. Virgo Cap Taurus, okay? Someone is just tired of fighting. They're tired of fighting a situation. They don't want to fight no more. They're throwing in the towel. I'm not defending this. I'm not defending this relationship. I want to work on something else. You know, I want to work on myself possibly with the Eight of Pentacles. That's always possible. Like, stay focused on your goals and dreams, right? I'm focusing on me. Me, 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 me. With the Five of Swords, I feel like it's just like, you know, tired of like... Like, with the Five of Swords, I feel like it's mind game. Someone's always trying to control a situation. Um, defeat. Um, someone feels very defeated, right? And then when I see this nine of pentacles, it's like, you're beautiful. You're, you're abundant. You're prosperous. You're independent. You know what I'm saying? So you're letting go. Queen of coins. Like, 
I'm not nurturing this anymore. I'm not, um, I'm not going to try and figure this shit out anymore. I'm done, right? And there's some news. Like, you know, there's an offer. I feel like that could be coming into you really soon. And it's just like, no, that's not enough for me. You know, like this is bullshit. This is breadcrumbs and I don't want it. Spirit, clarify this hermit card in reverse. Queen of Swords again, y'all. We got her at the bottom of the deck, didn't we? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy strong. Aquarius, energy strong. Libra, energy strong. We had that justice card at the bottom of the deck too. Spirit, clarify this hermit card in reverse. Spirit, clarify this hermit card in reverse. The death card in reverse. Spirit, clarify this hermit card. The page of swords in reverse. One more card, Spirit. And we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Knight of Swords in reverse. Whoa. Somebody definitely made some decisions that they're not proud of. Um, I felt that highly. With the Queen of Swords here, though, I feel like someone is finally coming out of their shell. They're finally going to stand up for themselves because they know what they deserve. They know they deserve better than this healing. Like, I deserve my dream come true, you know? Some serious healing is going to take place with this individual. With the death card in reverse, I feel like it's a painful ending. It's a painful trans transformation, and that's what you were trying to avoid is the pain. But unfortunately, with change, 9 out of 10, you can't avoid the pain, right? And with the page of swords here, I feel like, you know, someone's been thinking an awful lot about this. Been feeling, like, kind of unlucky, um, they've been watching uh, probably their person and just feeling very unlucky. Like it's never going to happen for me. It's never going to happen for us. And I'm just going to give up on it. You know, with the Knight of Swords, I feel like this is not a hasty decision that they're making. You know, I feel like this is something that they've been thinking a lot about because it's in reverse. They haven't taken the time. They're not going to be, you know, they're not going to move blindly, blindfolded. They're going to make the right choice. We are clarify this King of Pentacles in reverse energy. What is this King of Pentacles in reverse energy? King of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, that air energy is strong here. Lots of communication, lots of thinking. And then we have the Five of Cups. Spirit, clarify this. And we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. Clarify this King of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Three of Swords in reverse. I'm telling you, this person was not able to give you any type of stability. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Like, the offer that they had for you, whatever this was, it wasn't enough. You don't want it. Offer off the table. We're not taking this next step. I feel like with the King of Swords, you could definitely be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, okay? I feel like, you know, this person has kept you, like, sad. You're always sad. You know, it's like they don't ever really walk away. They always seem to come back around. You know, they never really walk away. And then I feel like they play with your emotions, they play with your emotions with the three of swords in reverse. It's time to move on. Like spirit is nudging you to really, really think about letting go of this because it's a lot of betrayal here. It's the same constant over and over again kind of energy I'm getting. See, the ten of swords is about betrayal. The ten of swords is about painful endings. But what the ten of swords is also about is the fact that this is something you kept repeating with this person. They kept doing this They and, and they are still doing it. I think that's the part that really gets me is that they're still doing it. And this is why they can't bring you any type of stability because nothing has changed. Spirit, so clarify this Five of Swords in reverse energy. The Justice in reverse. Spirit, so clarify the Five of Swords energy. We have the Seven of Swords in reverse and we have the Six of Wands in reverse. You know why you can't have any success with this person? You know why you feel so defeated by this person? Because they're off balance. And they're a habitual liar, a pathological liar, pardon my language. You can't have any success with somebody like that. Spirit, so clarify this five of swords in reverse. This person has to be open and honest with you, and they won't be. The strength card in reverse, Leo energy. And then the judgment card. Yeah, some of you are just like, this is high priestess energy. I feel like you are moving on from this person, but you're not telling them. You're moving on, but you're not telling them. You're just going to ghost them, right? And I feel like, you know, it's really hard for you to do this. And you're afraid that, you know, you will lose this person. Ultimately, you will lose this person. Scarlet. Ultimately, you will lose this person, but you know it's the best decision to make because it's not fair. It's just not fair. And you're keeping it a secret, okay? Pisces energy, right? Spirit, so clarify this Ace of Cups. Come on, Spirit. Let it be a new beautiful beginning of love for my for my singles, okay? Let it be a new beautiful beginning of love for my singles. Spirit, please clarify this Ace of Cups energy. What is this Ace of Cups energy? We have the Hermit Virgo energy. We have the Three of Coins. We have the Six of Cups in reverse and the Knight of Cups in reverse. We have one more card for this Ace of Cups. And a Two of Wands. And then we have, let's, we'll do the bottom of the deck in a heartbeat. This could definitely be a Virgo heavily involved here, okay? Definitely. Um, you don't want to work on this anymore. You're done collaborating. You're, you've are you been doing a lot of soul searching and you've been really focused on yourself. And you're letting go of this 
whatever this is from your past with the six of cups reversed with the knight of cups you just don't know how to tell them so you might not tell them you might just leave them the fuck behind with that two of wands y'all might just leave them behind leave them in the dust crossroads i'm leaving you behind and moving forward so i can find new love true love real love right now at the bottom of the deck we have the Page of Wands reverse, the Ace of Swords reverse, the Five of Coins reverse, the Three of Wands reverse, the Two of Swords reverse, and the Ace of Coins. Ace of Pentacles reverse, right? Wozes. You're better than this. This is, you're better than this. Some of you have an unexpected project that's about to come. Like something you wanted to do with somebody else you couldn't do, but you could do it with somebody else. And that's that Page of Wands, Ace of Swords here. Like, I feel like this is like something you're not really aware of yet it's coming that is coming through though like so things are definitely going to change for the better for you when it comes to what you deserve as far as collaborating with someone building with someone um but you have to turn your back on, on something else like you've been so indecisive about this new beginning but it seriously is time it seriously is time so we're going to go into the um what is destined to happen with this i see what's destined to happen y'all Could you go get me a cup? Just the cup? I want some water. Never mind. All right, let's see what's destined to happen here. Bottom of the deck is scarcity. I just, I feel like you're just not getting enough. You're just not. You know, you've invested in some place you're not getting enough from. Oh, shit. Spirit, what's destined to happen with the Seven of Wands energy? What's destined to happen with the Seven of Wands in reverse energy? Okay, so we have vulnerability, solitude, divine intervention, lost, and higher self. See, this situation you were dealing with, you were very vulnerable. You showed this person who you were, defenses, and this person's never let their guards down with you. You showed them who you were. You spent a lot of time really thinking about this situation. You spent a lot of time alone in this connection, which means it wasn't a connection. You spent a lot of time by yourself, and I feel like you, you know, it was actually divine intervention. This person being kept from you was a divine intervening. Because I feel like even if you even if you strongly feel the connection with this person, something is just telling me now is not the time. I don't know why, but it's not. You had to reach your higher self. Maybe this person has to reach your higher self, but the divine did intervene. And I feel like, you know, don't feel lost about it because higher self was the goal and you're accomplishing that, okay? Spirit, what's destined to happen with this her hermit card in reverse? What is destined to happen with this hermit card in reverse? See, I told you, awakening, awakening. You had an awakening, hope. So it was destined to happen. Longing. Resilience. And fragile. Bottom of the deck is missed opportunity. So your heart was way too fragile. You kept a lot of hope alive for this situation. You were very resilient. You kept going, you kept going, you kept going, you kept going. But you need some serious healing now. You did not want this to end. You were trying to avoid this. You were trying to avoid this coming to an end and, and end and it hurting because you know how fragile the situation may be. And I feel like you're, you know, you're just longing for, for this connection. And it's just, it's so much hope and it's just like, it's not happening. So you were forced to have an awakening that this is a missed opportunity. It's just not going to happen. So please clarify what's destined to happen with this King of Pentacles energy in reverse. We have inner demons. Iced out. Damn. Hold up. Fixation. This person brought out a lot of your dark side. Reliable. They brought out a lot of your dark side. Mute. Bottom of the deck is soul recognition. Yeah. I'm definitely getting strong ties between you and this person. This person brought out your dark side, though. They made you face your demons, your shadow self. You were very fixated on them. They... They like I feel like your heart grew very cold, but it made you focus on your demons. Like you could always rely on this person not to communicate with you, then that would trigger you and that would cause you to look into yourself. Maybe not at first when it first happened. Maybe you started going off on them or something. I don't know, but whatever it is, this person triggered you in a major, major way. Soul recognition because you you felt each other's energy. You knew you knew who this person was from the moment you met them. You knew they were special, or they knew you were special. Spirit, what is destined to happen with this five of swords in reverse energy?
Scarcity, divine feminine. Yeah, I told you. Like, this person played too many games with you. Isolation, you're pulling yourself away from them. You're not going to tell them, no. You're not telling them. Cautious. And inspiration. Dream space. Yeah, like, I see you in my dreams, buddy, because you won't get me in physical. You're too cautious now. Like, too much has happened between the two of you. Like, you, they, But the thing is, like I said, like they inspired you to find your higher self. They inspired you to reach new limits within yourself. They inspired that. So I feel like they serve their, their purpose. Soul recognition indeed. Spirit, please clarify what is destined to happen with this Ace of Cups energy. Spirit, what's destined to happen? My hair getting in the way. What's destined to happen with this Ace of Cups energy? Happily ever after. I told you, you about to, whatever is opportunities coming your way, that's it. Look at that shit. Past life connection. Whoever this person is that's about to come into your life, this new beginning of love, rebirth. Spirit, please clarify what's destined to happen with this Ace of Cups energy. New chapter. And then we have complications. Bottom of the deck, shattered. See, this person's going to come in right when your heart is shattered by someone else. Right when you feel like the world is complicated, here comes this rebirth and this new chapter into your life. Whoever this is, leave them in the fucking dust. Leave them in the dust because you're about to have your happily ever after. Like, I can't make this shit up. Happily ever after. I love it, though. Happily ever after, right? Past life connection. Rebirth. New chapter. Okay? And then, of course, those complications. Something tells me that this per it may be a complication with this person because maybe this person knows the person that you were dealing with. That could be a complication. Just saying, y'all. Let's get some chakra energy out here and see what chakras you should focus on moving forward for your own journey of self to always get you to the best destination for self, okay? All right, what chakras do we need to focus on, Spirit, for my singles, those in Twin Flame connections and karmic situations? Quest, that's your throat chakra. It's time for a new journey. See, I'm telling you, like, this is a journey into higher self. Which role will you take, the complicated one or the least complicated one? It's up to you, though. Live your truth, though. That's all I'm going to say, live your truth. And then we have discovery, yeah. This is your root chakra. Some of you have really been isolating yourselves and it's time to come out because you finally discovered while you were pulling away from this person, you know, you discovered something about yourself. You, you, you discovered a lot. And I feel like, I feel like with this card though, it's, it's saying that there's more to find out. Like there's more for you to find out more to discover. Stay connected. Disconnect from this. This person pulls you away from yourself. Yeah. Another root chakra complacency. You were just content. You know, you were fixated on this person. You were content with the cycle repeating itself, the cycle of pain repeating itself. You know, always being there for this person, always being reliable. But it it, it turns your heart cold. You know, you, you just getting away from this person will help you no longer feel like as long as somebody's there, you're happy. Like, no, you deserve the best, okay? All right, Spirit, what else do we have here for my... And this one is your solar plexus prayer. That's kind of self-explanatory. Don't forget when you wake up, pray, meditate. Okay? Maybe do some yoga poses if that's what you're into. I like that song though where it says, do you like pina coladas? Or what does it go? It says, you're not that into yoga. That's me. Like I like yoga, but I ain't that into yoga. And I probably should be, but I'm not. Um, vanity. That's the last card over here which of course is the throat chakra um some of you are more consumed or more concerned with the idea of how you look to others and how you are internally and look at that card don't be concerned about how others see you that's not your concern what you're concerned about is how you feel about yourself when you step out into the world soulmate at the bottom of the deck i'm telling you reground yourself something about this situation has caused you to be off balance tremendously and some of you need to really reground yourself and find out that you are your own your one true soulmate it is you you know yes you may have past life connections with other people you may have all of that going on but you are your soulmate you okay so let's get some energy out here. Bottom of the deck is door to spirit is closed. I'm telling you, pray and meditate. It is important, okay? Spirit, what energies do we have for the collective singles? We have the first chakra. Come on, I can't make this up. First chakra, first chakra, first chakra. First chakra, Archangel Michael, Papa Legua. Then we have yin and yang, balance. I'm telling you, this person, 
that's coming in is bringing a lot of balance into your life, y'all. It's a lot of balance for you. It's a lot. Man holding a heart. I'm telling you, you were very complacent in this. There was no stability, no commitment, no structure, nothing. It was nothing. And this person just hurt you over and over and over again. And here comes this man holding his heart. Mm -mm -mm. I love it. I do. Like, it's time. It's, it's, it's time. I know for me, it's time for new love. So, hope some of this is for me. I need new love, y'all. <laughs> Angel of love in reverse. See? This wasn't love. If it isn't love, why does it hurt so bad? Why does she stay on my mind? Because... You kind of kept yourself there, complacent with what you were getting. That's why, but it's not love. Angel love is like basically not present in that in that in that connection. One more energy card, spirit. Thank you. Endure the spirit. I, I I'm, I'm I'm telling you, deceit in reverse is over. That deceit is over. I feel like lies, truths, whatever needs to come to the surface. I told you your person is a habitual liar. They lie to you about so many things. And it's time for you to make the right choice to move on and be, you know, let that inspire you. Be cautious of this person because it's not love. Be cautious. But going forward, this is what you prayed for. Spirit is basically blessing you with things that you've been asking for, things that you've been praying for, things that you've been hoping for, that love. But it starts with you. So you have to leave this alone and move forward. Some of you have already done so, so good for you. Some of you are still debating about it. The great debate, huh? Remember, you deserve the best. And that's all I'm going to say. Hope you guys enjoyed today's reading. If it has resonated with you, thumbs up. If it has not, thumbs down. Either way, it's all love, right? Comment, let me know how you feel. If you're looking for a private, more personal reading, purchase one through my website, www.alchemygoddess.love. That's A-L-K-E-M-Y-G-O-D-D-E-S-S dot L-O-V-E. Don't forget, there's a two to four week turnaround period for reading. So please be patient with me. They are coming. All right, you guys, that's it for today. I'll check you mañana. As always, peace. <laughs>